Hey everybody, welcome back to my series, 365 riffs for beginning guitar. We've done hundreds of these riffs since January 1st, 2017, but not enough Grateful Dead, so let's fix that before the year runs out. Today we have Touch of Grey. I'm going to show you how to strum through all the chords, and when it comes to the chorus, we're going to insert a great little riff that sounds like this. the chords you need for touch of gray. G with your middle ring and pinky, okay? Oh, by the way, capo with the fourth fret, okay? So you can play along with the, with the recording. Okay, G, middle ring and pinky. I definitely recommend that fingering for this song, G. You need D, C, and sadly you do need an F chord. I'm doing my favorite version of F here. There's lots of ways to play an F chord. If you have any doubts or concerns about F, Check out the description to this video. You'll find a link to a video I made all about things you can do when the world asks you to play an F chord. You should know your options, okay? So check out the link in the description to this video if you have any concerns about the F major chord. I'm doing it the way I like to it on five strings and I avoid the sixth string right there. Uh, lastly, that those chords, by the way, carry through the whole verse and the whole chorus. For the bridge, you'll need A minor, A7, E minor, which I definitely recommend doing with your middle and ring fingers because the next chord in the sequence is B7 and your middle finger will already be in the right place. So, a few new chords for the bridge. Okay, now let's get into uh, strumming through the verse. I'm going to show you two ways of strumming through the verse. The absolute easiest way. Uh, see the chord changes on the screen there in front of you? When you see a 4 next to a chord, that means you're going to strum the chord and count like this. One, two, three, four. That's all. When you see a two, like D2, G2, you're going to go like this. One, two, one, two. Okay? So this will make more seconds in a second. Here comes the verse with the words. One, two, ready, go. Must be getting early. Clocks are running late. Paint by number, moon, sky. Looks so full. Easy, right? And the whole thing repeats again. Dawn is breaking everywhere. Now we can curse the play. Draw the curtain, I don't care. It's alright. Now, that might be perfect for some of you because you can really focus on your chord changes and not worry so much about the downs and ups that we're about to do right now. For those of you who feel comfortable with those chord changes, let's do a little more sophisticated strum pattern. It's going to be like this. You can see the D's and the U's on the screen. Uh, the basic pattern is down, down, up, up, down. Nice light grip on the pick. And when you do upstrokes, really only hit two or three strings on your way up, okay? Any more than that, any conscientious, conscientious effort to hit four, five, six strings on your way up, it will slow you down and will, it will just drag the song down, okay? There will be times when instead of doing the down, down, up, up, down pattern, you simply do two downs and two downs, okay? So check it out. One, two. To slowly go. Must be getting early. Clocks are running late. Take sky. Looks so full. Easy, right? It starts over again. Dawn is breaking everywhere. Now, those two strumming options, we're going to uh, see how those work for the chorus as well. You know, hitting the chords and just letting them ring, or that down, down, up, up, down kind of pattern. All right, here comes the chorus. So, I'll illustrate the chorus strum with those nice, simple down strokes, with lots of free time to change the next chord, and then with a down, down, up, up, down strum pattern. But either way, we're going to insert that nice little melodic phrase, and we'll also do it down an octave. Okay, you'll see how it fits in. So here's the simple strum. A one, two, three, four. I will get by. I will get by. I will get by. I will survive. Okay, easy, right? And 
now with a fancier strumming. A one, two, three, four. chorus okay and we're gonna do the same thing with the bridge hey before we go to the bridge I want to say thank you for watching I always want to make sure I thank you okay because you know there's a million guitar videos out there and I really appreciate you watching this one so thanks don't forget to uh, send me a thumbs up right like this video don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel I love seeing those subscribers come in and check out my website down there Songbike, okay for more videos that you cannot find on YouTube all right now let's do the bridge so here at the bridge, we have some interesting chords to work with. A minor and A7 enter the uh, mix, as well as the E minor and B7. Don't forget what I mentioned before. When you get to the E minor, definitely use your middle and ring fingers because your middle finger is going to stay there for the B7. Okay, here comes uh, one strum at a time. A one, two, here it goes. It's a lesson to me. Two, three, four. And then repeat it. We all think of two, three, four. Try to give a little love. Okay, and now with a strumming, a one, two, three, four. It's a lesson to me. Got the idea. By the way, this strum pattern, it, it shows up in millions of songs. Um, or you can actually apply it to a lot of songs. Even if it's not literally what the guitar player is doing, it fits so many songs. Okay, so if you've never done it before, hey, now's your chance to polish it. If it is familiar to you, then uh, obviously you've probably found a lot of ways to use it. So that's great. Um, now, I've been strumming the song kind of slowly uh, here in the video. I know the song goes a lot faster, but this is a way to get started, you know. Okay, my friends. There's another one in our playlist of 365 riffs for beginning guitar. We're well over 300 at this point. Uh, we've been doing these since January 2017, and here it is November. I uh, hope you've been with me this whole way. If not, you've got some catching up to do. Hundreds and hundreds of videos that are a lot like this one. A lot of great songs that we've covered. Uh, and I hope you check out every single one of them. Meanwhile, I will see you tomorrow for another song. Take care, everybody.